Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve the number of permutations of n objects taken all at a time. Solve the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time. Solve problems involving circular permutation. Solve problems involving distinguishable permutations. Let's get started. On our previous lesson, we already defined permutation. Permutation refers to the different possible arrangements of a set of objects. The order of the arrangement is important. Hence, the arrangement of A, B, C, D is not the same as the arrangement of B, C, D, A. For this lesson, we're going to solve the different problems involving permutation of objects taken all at a time, permutation of n objects taken r at a time, circular permutation, and distinguishable permutation. Let us differentiate between permutation of objects taken all at a time and taken r at a time. Permutation of objects taken all at a time can be illustrated in the form of permutation of n, n. In this case, all of the objects are included in the arrangement. Permutation of n objects taken r at a time can be illustrated in the form of permutation of n, r, where r is less than n. In this case, not all of the objects are included in every arrangement. Permutation of n, n can be computed in the form of n factorial, where n is the number of objects. Permutation of n, r can be computed in the form of n factorial over quantity n minus r quantity factorial, where n is the number of objects and r is the number of objects taken at a time. Let's have an example. Example number one. In how many ways can 12 people occupy 12 seats in front row of a mini theater? This is an example of permutation of objects taken all at a time. So, we will use the formula permutation of n, n is equal to n factorial. By substitution, we have p of 12, 12 is equal to 12 factorial. We already know in the previous lesson that 12 factorial is 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or simply, 479 million 1,600. Therefore, there are 479,1600 ways can 12 people occupy 12 seats in front row of a mini theater. Let's have another example. Example number 2. In how many ways can 5 bicycles be parked if there are 7 available parking spaces? This is an example of permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So, we will use the formula permutation of n, r is equal to n factorial over quantity n minus r quantity factorial. In the given problem, 7 is the number of objects, so n is equal to 7, and we are taking 5 at a time, so r is equal to 5. By substitution, we have p of 7, 5 is equal to 7 factorial over quantity 7 minus 5 quantity factorial. Simplify, we have 7 factorial over 2 factorial. Expand both numerator and denominator and cancel 2 times 1 in the numerator and denominator. So, for our final answer, we have 
7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, which is equal to 2,520. So, we have 2,520 ways can 5 bicycles be parked if there are 7 available parking spaces. Let's have another example. Example number 3. For a teacher's program, 6 items are proposed. Due to the time constraint, only 4 items will be approved. How many permutations of 4 item programs are there? This is an example of permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So we will use the formula permutation of n comma r is equal to n factorial over quantity n minus r quantity factorial. In the given problem, we have 6 number of objects, so n is equal to 6. And we are taking 4 at a time, so r is equal to 4. By substitution, we have p of 6 comma 4 is equal to 6 factorial over quantity 6 minus 4 quantity factorial. Simplify, we have 6 factorial over 2 factorial. Expand both the numerator and the denominator and cancel 2 times 1 in the numerator and denominator. So for our final answer, we have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, which is equal to 360. Therefore, we have 360 ways or 360 permutations. Let's have another example. Example number 4. There are 8 basketball teams competing for the top 4 standings in order to move up to the semifinals. Find the number of possible rankings of 4 top teams. This is an example of permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So we will use the formula permutation of n comma r is equal to n factorial over quantity n minus r quantity factorial. In the given problem, we have 8 number of objects, so n is equal to 8. And we are taking 4 at a time, so r is equal to 4. So, by substitution, we have p of 6 comma 4 is equal to 8 factorial over quantity 8 minus 4 quantity factorial. Simplify, we have 8 factorial over 4 factorial. 8 factorial can be written in the form of 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial. So we can cancel 4 factorial both on the numerator and denominator. Hence, for the final answer, we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, and that is equal to 1,680. Thus, we have 1,680 possible ranking. Aside from the linear permutations, which are the permutation of objects taken all at a time, and permutation of objects taken r at a time, we also have the circular permutations. Circular permutations are the permutations of objects when they are arranged in a circular pattern. An example of this is a sitting arrangement of people around a circular table. The difference between a circular permutation and linear permutations is that in circular permutation, there is no starting or ending point. This can be illustrated in the form of permutation is equal to n factorial over n or permutation is equal to quantity n minus 1 quantity factorial. Let's have an example. Example number 1. Find the number of different ways that a family of 6 can be seated around the circular table with 6 chairs. This is an example of circular permutation since the objects are arranged in a circular pattern. So we will use the formula permutation is equal to n factorial over n. In the given problem, 6 is the number of objects, so n is equal to 6. By substitution, we have 6 factorial over 6. 
expand the numerator, which is 6 factorial, and cancel 6, both in the numerator and denominator. So, we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 120. We can check our answer by using the simplified formula, which is permutation is equal to quantity n minus 1 quantity factorial. By substitution, we have 6 minus 1 quantity factorial. 6 minus 1 is 5, so we have 5 factorial, and that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Again, that is equal to 120. Therefore, there are 120 ways that a family of 6 can be seated around a circular table with 6 chairs. Let's have another example. Example number two. How many ways can eight children join hands to form a ring? This is an example of circular permutation since the objects are arranged in a circular pattern. So we will use the formula P is equal to N factorial over N. In the given problem, eight is the number of objects so n is equal to 8. By substitution, we have 8 factorial over 8. Expand the numerator and cancel 8 both on the numerator and denominator. So we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is equal to 5040. To check our answer, by using the simplified formula, we have P is equal to quantity N minus 1, quantity factorial. Substitute N, which is equal to 8. So P is equal to 8 minus 1, quantity factorial. And that is equal to 7 factorial. 7 factorial can be written in 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is equal to 5040. Thus, we have 5,040 ways can eight children join hands to form a ring. The last kind of permutation that we're going to talk in this video refers to the permutations of set of objects where some of them are alike. In this case, we're going to use the formula for distinguishable permutations. The number of distinguishable permutations of n objects when p are alike, q are alike, r are alike, and so on is given by p is equal to n factorial over p factorial times q factorial times r factorial, and so on. For you to understand this, let's have an example. Example number one. How many distinguishable permutations are there for the letters of the word committee taken all together? This is an example of distinguishable permutation since some of the objects are alike. In the word committee, the letter M comes twice, the letter T comes twice, and the letter E comes two times. We can now use the formula for distinguishable permutations. Permutation is equal to n factorial over p factorial times q factorial times r factorial and so on. By counting, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we can say that the number of objects is 9. Hence, 9 factorial will be written in the numerator. Since we have two letter M in the word committee, we will write two factorial in the denominator. We also have two letter T, so another two factorial in the denominator. Lastly, we have two letter E, so another two factorial in the denominator. After substitution, Next step is to evaluate. 
9 factorial is equal to 362,880. Also, 2 factorial is equal to 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 on the denominator. Simplify the denominator. 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Last step, 362,880 divided by 8. Thus, we have 60,480. Therefore, we can say that we have 60,480 distinguishable permutations. Let's have our last example. Example number 2. How many distinguishable permutations are possible with all the letters of the word assessment? This is an example of distinguishable permutation since some of the objects are alike. In the word assessment, the letter S comes four times. The letter E comes two times. We can now use the formula for distinguishable permutation. By counting, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we can say that the number of objects is 10. Hence, 10 factorial will be written in the numerator. Since we have 4 letter S in the word assessment, we will write 4 factorial in the denominator. We also have 2 letter E, so we will also write 2 factorial in the denominator. After substitution, next step is to evaluate. 10 factorial is equal to 3,628,800. Also, 4 factorial is 24 times 2 factorial, which is 2 on the denominator. Simplify the denominator 24 times 2, which is equal to 48. For the last step, 3,628,800 divided by 48 is equal to 75,600. Thus, we have 75,600 distinguishable permutations.